I want us to install our project. Now, in order for us to install our project, we have to install it because as you know, for any website to run, uh, we need to install it inside our server folder. Now, my server folder here is currently drive C, ZAMP, htdocs. So it's going to be exactly like this for you as well. If you installed ZAMP, it's going to be htdocs folder that we are looking for in drive C inside ZAMP. But if you're not using ZAMP, you're using something like WAMP or MAMP, just look for the public HTML folder or the www folder. That's the folder where you put all your websites. So this is the folder we want to visit. Okay, so let's go to our uh, command line here and so that we can use Composer to install Laravel. So I'm going to say cd dash dash or dot dot like that to move a folder back cd dot dot another folder and then cd zamp i want to change directory to zamp that's what cd means change directory and then again i'll do change directory to ht docs folder okay so once i'm in the ht docs folder i'm in my project folder now now here i can download a project a laravel project using composer so in order to do this we go to our uh, laravel.com once you reach there you just go to the documentation and then you click on getting started and then getting started has installation notes okay now the reason i'm showing you this and not just typing the 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 command that i need is because the installation process changes once a different version of laravel is uh it's not always the same let me say that so here you can still choose a different version of Laravel to uh, to work with, but we're just going to stick to the latest version here, which is version eight. And then let's look at the installation notes here. So if you look at all this, not very important. Uh, if we go down here, I'm looking for one which says install with composer because that's what we want to do. So install via composer right there. So here, this is the command that we have to write inside here. So it says clearly here that you should run this command, then change your directory to this, which is the directory you've created there, and then run php artisan serve. Now we're not going to run this one because this one starts a server that we don't need because we have ZAMP, which has Apache, already and we've already started it there so we don't need to run the last command here all we need really is this command right here so i'm going to copy this copy and i'm just going to paste it here like this now the important thing here to keep in mind is that we are using composer we're typing composer because we want to use that program and then we're giving it a command saying create project these commands come with laravel so every time you want to do this you can just come back here and copy it so no need to memorize any of this the only part you need to change is the last part this is where your project is going to reside this is your folder your project folder so you can name this last part anything you can just say my project like that which is fine but in my case i just want to name it laravel now, the thing is, every time you want to create a new project, you have to do this. You have to run this command. But in my opinion, uh, for as long as the version of Laravel hasn't changed, what you do is you download this because it's going to download all the required information for you. So what you do, once you finish the download process, just make a copy of that folder and change its name. And then you can copy and paste instead of having to do this all the time. So let's do this once and move on. So I'll click enter right there. And that's all you need to do. So what it will do is it's going to create a folder called Laravel. Okay. And it's saying that they are creating a Laravel project at, that's the folder, Laravel right there. It has created a project. And then now it's installing uh, the what whatever we need here, like that, extracting archive and so on. So we are going through the installation process here now the installation process does take a while 
so it has to download i think the files are something like 32 megabytes so i must also mention that you must be connected to the internet of course in order to run this otherwise it's not going to work so it's doing all this in the background now if i come back here to my while well, this is running to my htdocs folder i will see that there's a folder here called laravel where it is copying everything inside and if i open it you see it has copied all this so all these are the files that are required in order to run Laravel. So everything has been downloaded here already. So if I come back here, the only thing now it's actually doing is installing uh, the so-called vendors or dependencies or other um, files that it uses, other classes that it uses, which will be in a folder called vendor, which we can see right now here. Okay, so the installation process takes a while, so I'm just going to cut the video here and then come back once the installation process is complete. Now, the important thing you just have to remember is that the only use for Composer is this command right here. Once we are done with this, we don't need Composer anymore. Uh, that's it, that's what we're going to be using it for. And then, once you create this folder, this folder is created here and all the files are downloaded, just make a copy of this before you begin to edit it because for us to create a Laravel project we'll be editing exactly these files that are in here we'll be changing everything in here one by not everything but a lot of the files in here will change and we're going to add some new files to it that's how a framework actually works so before you do any of that once the installation process is complete make a copy of Laravel rename it to a project that you want to run to create maybe it's a blog just say my blog or something like that that way you always have this clean copy of laravel that is unedited okay so that is the point i'm trying to put across here all right so i will wait for this installation process to finish all right so the installation is complete and it has generated a key here which is nice all right so all this is what happened here so it installed all this up to somewhere here okay so you don't need to pay attention to any of this the only thing that is important is that in your laravel folder now there is a vendor folder here which has all these vendors here Okay, so that means the installation is complete. All right, so that's all you need in order to complete the installation. And like I said, what we're going to do now is we're going to copy this folder and copy, and then we're just going to paste it right in here. Okay, paste it in the same location. That way we'll have two folders here. One is Laravel copy and the other one is actual Laravel. And then what we will do is we're going to rename this copy here into something uh, that we want to create. Maybe we want to create a blog. So we're going to name it my blog. Okay. So every time you want to create a project, just copy that Laravel folder and then rename to a different project that way you have a clean copy of laravel that way you don't need to always install it in the command line so here i'm just going to say my uh, what are we going to do my blog something like that okay so that will be our project from now on it's going to be my blog and if i open my blog here i have this stuff here which is good Okay, so in the next video, we're going to look at the folder structure, what exactly, what files are in here and what they do.